So here's where it all starts. Doug's ram pump. Number two, or is it number three? I'm losing count. This is a six foot tall, or I mean about seven and a half foot tall, six inch diameter standpipe that is at the end of 200 feet of three inch line which is at the end of 500 feet of four inch line buried down a boulder filled canyon took me five years to do it now this flows into this three inch standpipe right here or I mean six inch standpipe and it goes up to the top and that pipe coming out to the right there that goes down that's the overflow and the one that comes out the top right there that's hooked to a one and a half horsepower submersible pump and that comes down this what comes down the front of the standpipe and goes through a one-way gate valve here so there's no backflow from the ram pump in the system and then right here is where the this one inch black line right here is going to hook from the ram pump so it will be using this line going up and that goes up the hill 250 feet laterally and about 62 feet vertically and so I'm getting me about 50 gallons per hour right now with uh, about six feet of drop in water because the water comes to about right here and I'm pumping that water up about 60 feet high and down here at the bottom of that six inch uh, upright pipe is a T, the big six inch T which I have a three inch coming out of it which tees into double two inch lines and then the drive pipes here these are two inch PVC drive pipes the heavy stuff they go down here to the ram pump and after all these years I hope I get to be around to see it work today's his first day of working but I'm having trouble with the New World Order because they don't like the fact that I want to medicate myself with weed and they want me to take their chemicals. So I guess, you know, the penalty they got for being a gardener these days is life in prison. At least that's what I'm looking at for a couple of plants. But anyways, here is the ram pumps. Dual two-inch ram pumps. They have been running steady now for, oh, about three or four hours. That's at the end of these 60 foot drive pipes. I have them mounted on a steel plate with two or four inverted two inch muffler clamps which I've painted everything with uh, that bed liner material that you buy in a spray can. Stuff's way tougher than spray paint. Use galvanized bolts I set in the concrete. Uh, at the top here is a five gallon commercial pressure tank. Seems to be working pretty good so far. See if I can get a close up of this gauge here. Uh, it reads about 28 pounds. Camera ain't very good up close. But these, both these pumps are hooked together into a single pressure tank here. It goes into, see there's where the, here's the one way valves right here going that way. Then there's T off into this pressure tank, and right here is where we head on up to the top of the canyon. It's all mounted on a 4x4 four four foot cement slab with one layer of bricks around it. I'm going to bring the wall up a little higher, probably another 6 inches to do a better job of maintaining the water. And then it goes on down through this cement trough, and eventually that's going to fill, it was going to fill some fish ponds along the way but uh, through that eight foot drop I can gain another 250 foot down I could uh, pump another 50 gallons an hour to the top but once again the new world order is getting mean people They're not showing much mercy anymore okay we'll sit here and watch this thing work for a minute they don't seem to run uh, synchros synchronously they come in and out of it uh, as they run they'll just kind of fade in and out but one has not diminished uh, the power of the other uh, at all. Uh, the pump on the left, it has a, it, it's an inverted foot valve uh, with one spring. You just take the spring out of it when you buy a foot valve and you just put it on the other side of where the valve is. So it's pushing the valve open instead of holding it closed. Uh, the two inch foot valve on the right, 
I had to double up on the springs on that. If I didn't double up on them springs, it it just it's uh its rhythm was too fast, you know. Snap, 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 snap. It wasn't e it wouldn't even out. So by doubling up the springs for some reason or another, all of a sudden it's just been kicking in and working pretty smooth now. And hopefully this thing will run for years and years and give much good service without a whole lot of trouble. No electricity required, no nothing, just the movement of the water. Six feet of drop is all you need to get 50 gallons an hour, 60 feet high. And up at the top we'll have a thousand gallon tank mounted and this booger will pump 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Won't never stop. And I don't have to worry about it freezing because it's always constantly running. Well, I hope this has been informative and saved you all the headaches that I went through on all the prior ones. Thanks, all.